Computer has restarted. Computer has restarted, and I'm just hoping we're okay. I am a little anxious. It's made me just a little anxious. I'm just the slightest bit stressed. Restarting the computer seems, seems to have helped. But I'm also scared to try to do anything. <laughs> boy you're always supposed to restart your computer nathan hello hey hi okay i think i i i really hope we're okay Woo! it was so bad that whenever i hit restart the computer it booted in safe mode which means that i must have every key must have been being pressed that it booted it in safe mode i'm i'm very scared because you know what's in safe mode is a button that says reset PC. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I sure hope there's not a key for that. Cause if there's a keystroke for reset your PC, then I'm done for. And uh, seemingly we're okay. But that may very well have been the most terrifying moment of my life just now. <laughs> very scared. I'm gonna, maybe I'll just stop playing with the keyboard for now. Uh, anyway, peace and love, peace and love. Because, uh, just real scary. We should be live now, Zando. I just saw you drop a comment down in the um, Discord. I'm live right now, or I should be. It says I'm live. It says I'm live, so we're just gonna we're gonna hope and pray. How I hope and pray that they will, but today I am still just a bell. Oh boy. I mean, scared does not begin to describe the feelings that I'm feeling right now. If any of you are there, please type in the chat and let me know that I'm live. Not the time to troll me. If you're hearing this, please let me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace, peace and love. Peace and love. Peace, peace and, love. and love. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what just happened. I don't know if that was the OBS update or if that was the keyboard or what was the deal. Uh, but definitely something was not right just now. But we're here. We're here. All right, we got to build a uh, spinner. All right. Okay, obviously, obviously, I mean online. Come on now. Wheel of Names. Sure. Um, so we have a couple of games that I'm wanting to pick from. We're playing a new game today, but I have too many, too many games. I've got too many games. I've got so many games, what am I supposed to do? Can I just automatically put whatever I want in here? Looks like I can. Delightful. All right, boink. Boink. Guys, I'm so scared. I'm still all shook up. All right. And I feel like I'm not gonna let you guys know because I wanna keep the excitement going. Uh, let's see, that's a new game, that's a new game. That's a new game. Are there any more new games that I've been wanting to play? I mean, yes, but... That are exciting and downloaded. The installed is the most important. Are you getting an ETB for the new PTCG uh, expansion on Friday? Probably. I normally do. Lost Valley, isn't it Lost Valley or something? Lost Origins, Origin Valley. Well, I'm some of these in valleys in my head and I don't know why. Are there any other new games? I feel like there were, and I can't, I can't remember. This is something that I think we're going to start doing just because I think this is fun, and you guys can tell me if this is fun or not fun. But, um, Variety Tuesdays, for those of you that do not know, Lost Origins, that's it. What's up, Stained? 
Friday Tuesdays is going to be a day where we always post our voter over in the mornings over on our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat if you want to be a part of that. And um, today I started something new, the start of something new, as it were, um, where you'll have two games that you can vote from that we're kind of actively playing right now. One game that'll be a new game that we've never played before. And a fourth option is make a recommendation. Today, the new game option resoundingly won. And so what I'm thinking about doing is making a spinner with these games that are new to me that I own. That, that way I don't just have to buy a new game every time this happens. So I've got three games already on the list today. Um, but I'm sure I can come up with more as I think on it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to spin this and see what our new game of the day is. Yeah? And I have all three of these installed. That was the crux of the issue. All right. Well, I'm very excited about this. Is Faz one? Well, the thing about Phasmophobia is um, we got to make sure we have a crew. I want to make sure that I have a crew. If I don't have a crew to go with me, then I don't know if I want to do Faz by myself. It's got to, we got to have, we got to have peeps. Uh, so our new game of the day, let me go pull up a quick image. This has been one that has been on my dock for quite, or my docket, as it were, for quite a while. I'm very excited for it. Okay, here we go. Image is about to pop up on screen. Maybe. Oh, it's the wrong size. Ugh, well that won't do. All right, it's gonna pop up on screen soon, but I gotta get the right size. Canva! Canva! Folks, we have a game to give away today. That's something we could be doing while I'm doing this. Um, we have to give away, have to. <laughs> we get to give away a, um, a copy of Tomb Raider from 2013. We had lots of people enter for this game. We had 91 users enter for a chance to win and only one of them can win. We're gonna delete all the invalid options. And now I gotta drop this image here. This is multitasking if there ever was. This is what I call multitasking. This is multitasking only the greatest gamer is capable of. Let's just be real. How's everybody weekend? How, did, you, did you take Labor Day? Did you enjoy the day off? Did you not? Did you work? How were they? Hopefully everybody was good. One winner can win out of 77 once we remove the invalid options. Drum roll, please. The winner is Brody from Australia. Congratulations, Brody. You won it. You got you a copy of Tomb Raider. Folks, if you want a copy of, if you want a free copy of a game, you can enter for a chance, exclamation point, gimme. I'll bring up the Gleamio, and uh, you can enter for a chance to win a copy of Nuclear Throne. That's our next game giveaway that we're working on. Nuclear Throne, top-down, roguelike, um, from what I hear, very good. A very good game, so consider it, consider it. Today's game, however, is, drum roll, Baron Breakfast! You guys, I've heard I've heard about this game for a long time. I remember whenever it first came up, uh, and I'm very excited. So you will get to see if this is a game for you or not today. Have you heard of this game? Has anybody heard of Baron Breakfast? Has anybody played it? Bonus points if you've played it. What's your story with Baron Breakfast? For those of you that don't understand the pun here. A bed and breakfast is a place where you stay. Kind of like an Airbnb, right? Nice. Oh, hang on, let me change the category real fast. Never heard of it. I have heard of it and I've heard it's, it's quite delightful. It's getting rave reviews, as they say. But before we play Baron Breakfast, <laughs> it does sound a little scary. Before we play Baron Breakfast, we've got something fun to unbox here. Very excited about this. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. I've actually, so for those of you that do not frequent Fangamer as I do, Fangamer is a site where they make stuff for fans of games, believe it or not. T-shirts, uh, memorabilia, paraphernalia, 
all sorts of fun stuff. And this is one that's been out of stock for like years. Nah, that's an exaggeration. For months. And I've had it on my wish list uh, so that they would ping me an email whenever it came out. And here it is. For those of you who don't know, one of my favorite games of all time is Stardew Valley. I love Stardew. I log about about 100 hours into it a year. That's that's my usual trend. Um, this year so far, I've only logged 30, so I'm, I'm looking for a low year this year, but I always start a new campaign pretty much every year and enjoy myself um, with all of the different updates and the things that Concerned Ape has come up with. I'm very excited about Haunted Chocolatier, but enough about that. This is the Before the Farmer comic from Stardew Valley, uh, an officially recognized uh, comic about the series. So let's unbox it and see what extra swag Fan Gamer gave me, and uh, and see what this comic looks like. Now I can't say I'll show you the whole thing because I want you to go buy this from Fan Gamer so they'll make more stuff, so that nerds like me can get more of this. So I can literally see the door to the church my wife and I work at. If it weren't for the trees and walls, I could literally, or I could actually throw a rock at her office. She left almost 35 minutes ago to grab her work bag and come right back. How long should I wait before alerting the authorities? Oh no, man. The good news is that she's very, she's close enough you can just go get her. Go see how she's doing, see what's going on. If I know, if I know church people like I know church people, she has been um, caught by somebody and is talking. That feels like it always happens. People see me whenever I go over to the church building and they're like, well, time for a three hour conversation. All right, Stardew Valley comic. It's the dubious double bag technique. They actually boxed it and then bagged it. And I'm curious to see if they've bagged it again. Ooh, I've never done this before. I got on the inside of the bubble wrap. Oh yes, you know it's true. The triple bag, the ultra rare triple bag technique. Wow, wow, it almost never happens, folks. It almost never happens. All right. So before we look at the comic, we're gonna see the uh, the swag that they gave us. Um, so Fan Gamer always gives some extra cool little swag as a way of being like, please buy more things from us. And I always do, I always fall for it. One thing that they give you is a trading card. My trading card this time appears to be from Earthbound. Uh, isn't that, isn't that from Earthbound? Isn't that Starman or whatever his name is from Earthbound? So that's my trading card. The art is from Ian Wilding. Ian Wilding, there's his information. If you like that art, you're gonna go follow him on the, on the Twitterverse. Um, you can buy everything but love, friendship, and experience points. That's a star man. You want that one? We'll see. We'll see their trading cards, so you gotta tell me what fan gamer things you have to trade. Um, this is the fan gamer swag that they always give you. These are all the various things that they have available. I have many of them. I buy too much. I buy too much from fan gamer, and I love them all. Love all the things. My favorite place. And then they also always give you a sticker. A Fan Gamer logo sticker. This one is also tradable. And this is their Hollow Knight series. Excuse me, Shovel Knight. <laughs> I knew the knight part. You guys, I promise I'm not a fake, I'm not a fake nerd, I promise. There you go. Uh, let's see if we can find the artist. This time the artwork is done by Jorge M. Velez. Velez. It is Shovel Knight indeed. This is number 63. Jorge M. Velez, there you go. Art of JMV.squarespace.com. And this is Stardew Valley Before the Farmer comic book. Ah, look at it. Every story has a beginning, but some go back even further. Farther, excuse me. Is it further? Further, farther, farther could be, I don't know. Experience the joys and sorrows of the people of Pelican Town throughout the year leading up to your arrival in Stardew Valley. Each season offers new adventures, some happy and some sad. When all seems lost, just remember, come next spring, you'll be there to save the day. Welcome, our star of hope. So there you go. Officially copyrighted by, uh, by Concerned Ape. Um, let's, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside, yeah? It's nice. I wasn't expecting it to be um, hardbound. I really thought it was going to be a, um, like a graphic novel, you know? Thought it was going to be a graphic novel, but that's that's good stuff right there. Oh, 
What? Another prize? I got a letter. I got a letter. This seal looks very familiar. Oh my goodness, somebody sent me a letter here. Do I open it? I gotta open it. Do I open this before or after I read the comic? Am I supposed to, am I cheating? Am I breaking the rules? No, oh, I don't wanna rip the letter. I ripped the letter. Let's see, it's uh, got, a little, got a little envelope in here. Maybe it's from Grandpa in his weird bed. My dearest grandchild, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed my deed to that place. My pride and joy, my old farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my child. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Yep, it's the letter he wrote. The letter he wrote. I got Grandpa's letter! Look, it even has a little star, a star, a star dew drop. Star drop on the front there. Mm -mm, yep. And it did indeed come with the deed. It's a fancy, fancy um, resume paper drawing of the farm. Very nice. I got Grandpa's letter! Oh my goodness. Well, that's already, that's already reward enough. All right. So then whenever we actually open it up, here's what we get to see. Front binding, it's got this nice little lining on the front of your farm. Uh, looks like some, um, some sap is ready to be collected there. And on the back, same print. Nothing, nothing really has changed. You've got the farm on the other side. You've got some cows in there. Cute stuff. You've got the city center there. And let's see what we got inside. Let's look through just a couple pages. Like I said, not too many. Not too many. I'm giving you the Amazon preview. The adorable art style. It's got very anime art style, anime aesthetic. Ghibli aesthetic, which we love. We indeed stand. Uh, here's some credits. So we definitely want to show the credits page. Absolutely show the... Oh, that's cute. They gave a place for me to say that this is my book. Um, content including illustration, story, writing, and designs are copyrighted in 2019 by Chihiro Sakaida and Concern Date. Stardew Valley is 2019 Concern Date LLC, all rights reserved. Uh, let's see. Yep. Eric Brown, Concern Date. Carrie Fry, the art director. Ryan Novak, a supporter. And Stephen Thompson was Japanese support. And Chihiro Sakaida and Brown Junimo, or Brown Junimo, <laughs> I guess is the their attributed title there. So there you go. There's the crediting page. Love it. Very cute. Chihiro Sakaida. And uh, yeah, you can see there, there's a place for me to put my name so that I know that this is this is my book. You can't have it. And then it's got a little chapter layout. So a prologue there. And it looks like it's got translation on the page. I wonder if every page is gonna be translated. Ooh. Oh, that's very nice. That's a very nice touch. So it even has like what music you should be listening to as you're reading this. So you could play grandpa's theme right at the beginning while you're reading and get to actually read through the comic book. Love the art. I love whenever art spills over the panels like that. That's a really nice effect, a really good look. So I wonder if there are gonna be any words. Is this supposed to be you as a child visiting grandpa? Does this also imply that grandpa had all these things and that they were just torn down or sold or something? Because look at this vibrant, thriving farm. Or is this a flash forward to your future? And that was your child, not actually you. This is what you turned Grandpa's farm into. No, that's definitely Grandpa. Unless that's you, Grandpa. Are you Grandpa? Is this a time loop? There's the letter that we literally just opened. There's Grandpa in his weird bed! Weird bed Grandpa! Okay, so yeah, this is, this is the prologue. Yes, XX years later. Oh, so this is just our story here. I thought it was a prologue. Okay, so maybe the prologue is saying the beginning of the game and now the rest is gonna be new story. Yeah, it's all translated. A few stories from just before you come to the valley. There we go. Fascinating that it was all translated. A few stories from just before you come to the valley. Now, I always thought the Japanese was printed top to bottom. Oh, there we go. And there's your table of contents. That's all I'm gonna show you guys. Table of contents, maybe I'll show you some more select panels here. Table of contents, you got five chapters. 
or six chapters, including the prologue and epilogue. And it looks like you've got spring, summer, fall, winter. That's very nice. Hey, thank you for the sub, Christina. What's up? Chinese is top to bottom? Why did I think Japanese was top to bottom? I mean, I know it's right to left, but yes, it's a Stardew book. A Stardew book. By the way, I need to spin the wheel for you, Christina. Let me know right or uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, and how hard you'd like me to spin it. Let's see, yeah. So it's mostly, mostly wordless. This is mostly a book that's just telling, telling little stories here and there and showing you some of the characters in a more inspired art style. Very fun. Clockwise, medium strength. Mostly wordless today too. Right? Oh, I love this so much. Maybe 30, you need this, my friend, if you don't have this. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm very excited to take some time and to really, really dig deep into this, but it's great art. So you can see it's got all the characters and all their little art styles here. This is a Stardew Valley comic book before the farmer from Fan Gamer. I've been waiting for months for it to finally become available, and it did, and I love it. Also, so not everything is translated, but most things are translated. Looks like we learned a little bit about the Luau party, why it happened. Oh my goodness, I gotta try to find Leah. Oh, look at her! She's making art! She's making art. Oh my goodness, made out of hardwood. It even tells you what ingredients you need to make her little hardwood, hardwood art there. Oh, I love it. And that one needs, of course, of course, seeds and wood to, to craft that vase. Voss, if you will. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. The art style's adorable. <gasps> no. Oh, you guys, you don't even want to know where this story goes. No. No. <laughs> no. That's terrifying. I like that Joja's not even translated. It's just Joja. Amazing. All right. Well, cool. So there you go. There's the Stardew Valley fan gamer before the farmer, uh, officially sanctioned concerned ape and Shihiro Sakaida uh, comic book together. Um, very excited to give this one the full read through. It has been out for a couple years, uh, but there we go. Stardew Valley officially, officially got to experience. And what better time then now, after looking through the Stardew Valley book, to play Bear and Breakfast. So I'm gonna spin the wheel first for Teeny Christina, and then we're gonna then we're gonna build our uh, our our B and B and B and B, our B and B and B and B and B. All right, you said clockwise medium strength, right? Clockwise medium. Yeah. Clockwise five. Here we go. is a free gachapon. There we go. That is the most common option of the prizes, but you got a free gacha and who knows where that could go, you know? Maybe the button will work. Will the button work? Button won't work. Oh, like, hey, he's cool. I think we ought to use the gachapon. It is another Pokemon's beige. Pokemon's beige. Here we go. You got the rainbow badge. We're good. We're getting some poker badges. I think we are. I think we're halfway there. Have I seen the new update for Cyberpunk? It's 14 gigs. I would believe it. Fitting. Got the rainbow badge. Apropos. Apropos. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get some bear breakfast. Oh, it's just the bear necessities. The simple bear necessities. Boink, boink. Maybe I'll try and open Steam Deck. Maybe that was the issue and why it didn't work. Or maybe it's lost its connection with the soundboard. That'd be predictable. Okay, let's go for full screen, full screen. Should be good, should be good to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use keyboard with this. I'm gonna assume that keyboard is gonna be the best experience for a, a Stardew-esque, but we'll see. And you guys let me know if it's too loud as usual or if it's not loud enough. All those sorts of things. I assume that it's loading because of this little pancake screen that you guys can't see. A little pancake flipper. 
what's the letter yeah. of the day? I just had to open it's the, the stream deck. Got cap on. Thank you, Big Bird. Thank you, Big Bird. I love this art style. H man. There we go. Seven. No, yeah. Seven star Dragon Ball, my friend. Congrats. Congrats on the seven star Dragon Ball. We love it. We love it. So uh, maybe thirty bats. Are you talking about the the expansion? I haven't updated the game in forever. But if you're talking about the expansion, then. Isometric and soft, I am here and I'm for it. Okay. WASD, E is interact, yeah. Considering, oh, is that all it's for is just zooming? Hmm. We'll figure it out. See, I, I feel like, I feel like if I want to use mouse and keyboard, then why not just make this click, you know? Why all these buttons when it could just be click? Hmm? Hmm? All right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Not the expansion that's coming next year. This is a major update though. Got you. Yeah, I believe it. No, I've not, I've not even queued up. I've not even queued up Cyberpunk in forever. Oh, I love this art. I don't know who this is, but they're gonna sound like me. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. Oh, it's Hank. It's the bear. The bear's got my voice. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded him. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. I love him. Hello? I want him to be, I want him to have a bear voice. So, whoa, I can't move. He's got to have a bear voice, you guys. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. I mean, look at him. That's what he sounds like. Move. Can't do that either. W-A-S-D to move around. What? <laughs> What's that? That's not a thing I know. Well, that's convenient. Look at his little walk! His little waddle! Fine. You mean like an introspection thing? <laughs> Look at his little waddle. Ah, I love it! I love his little ears! Sleep. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just, uh, take a nap in a death bed. I'm guessing it's E. E to interact. I'm sleeping. Don't. Don't what? You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. Don't wake? That's something I'd like to do, actually. I'm a fan of waking up, in fact. As it turns out. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank! Uh-oh, better see what's up. Looks like a ton of quality of life updates, new quests, weapon balancing, perk updates, a bunch of stuff. Oh, man! I want to play it. I want to play it, but who has the time, dude? Who has the time? How? <gasps> Can I play that guitar? I need to play that guitar. I need it, dude. Okay, whatever. Who indeed, man? I'm just trying to get through the games I'm even playing right now. Yeah, I totally need this to be a click. I need this to be a click scenario. Why am I, why am I just walking? I love his walk so much, dude. Hi, I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides... Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. 
Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm with Annie. No, oh, in a room with Will, probably. I should wake him up. All right, honey. Uh, the basics. You can control Hank using WSD to walk around the world. You can zoom the camera in and out using the mouse wheel. Uh, interact with things by pressing E. Uses autosave. Do not exit the game while this animation is displayed. <laughs> I love that animation! Uh, you can access game settings, achievements, and more through the pause menu. I'm absolutely about to go get a controller right now, aren't I? Why would I use this? Good. Get out! Morning! Out. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good morning about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell it a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to the fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. Hey, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready, here it comes. Coming! Adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items for your inventory. Your inventory is accessed through the adventure mode menu. It holds every item you find in the world. You can use filters or the organize button to sort through items magically, or throw away whatever you don't need using the delete slot. The mini map displays your current location, day, time, and allows you to navigate the world. Hey, Ma! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> nice! Nailed it! Hey, Ma! Morning, kids! Morning, Miss M! Ma'am! Did you sleep all- I don't remember her voice anymore. As good as ever! Good enough! Whatever that means! Good, today is a very special day! I need you to go on the hunt! Alright, point me to the hole! To, to What's her voice?! To Black Moss! What? What? Mm. I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this thing in place. Hmm. Um, I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one f step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. It's nighttime. It is the middle of the night. You just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectibles are special items you unlock for your character. They give various perks. You can find your current... I love his ad! You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. You can now access the quest log from menu bar. It shows your current quests, allows you to track them, and find objectives using the arrow's indicator. Collectibles. Quests will... Quests which will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Quest status icons will display over characters. Orange means available, blue means in progress, green means ready. You know. Go to Black Moss through the thicket. Well, so far, oh, oh, I got in there. Okay. So far, I'm all about this. Um, this is adorable. I do think I might switch to controller here pretty soon. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before, past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret would not know, but this was not their first adventure. Annie, the Carillion dog, brave but clumsy. 
Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in adventurous fashion. You never said that, I promise. <laughs> you never actually said that, though. Okay. Black Moss! All right, gang, sp spread out! Yeah. Tire Screech, what? No. Screech somewhere else. What? Or what in the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom for your mom yet. <laughs> Why did she even come that voice now? No! I'm with Hank. Let's see where that count sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found it yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No! Come back! Follow your friends. Ooh, but I want to see whatever this is. There's an eyeball here. What's that all about, you think? That's one big rock. That's okay. Good. Good talking to you. Will and Annie. It's a bus. Little rebel. I got the achievement, little rebel. <laughs> I am a little rebel. A little rubber boy in the bathroom. Oh, what? Oh, I can build it. <laughs> Is this going to be my house? Am I going to buy this place? Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it to his boss. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pon Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose. Oh, I already said that. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? What's up, Frost? How we doing, my friend? You there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not in anything major, but I do like sharing. How was stream today, Frost? How we doing? And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get a share again? Very, very minor. How, how exactly are you talking? Pon Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-year friend corporation. What the? Offering secure, touristy, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. Stream ended early because we lost power? What? Oh my goodness, at a coffee shop now because the internet says it won't be back for three hours. Holy moly, man. Y'all have had all sorts of stuff going on, haven't you? You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you... a one to three day all exclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pon Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it like that? For it's millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how rundown or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, or decorating and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically barely yield to your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shock right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. 
Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> now I heard was that humans are coming back. Did he just say gullet? He did indeed say gullet. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. <laughs> and that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and Spoil Sport's cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. Now I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Human. Back. Money. Give. Good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, uh, look, just go tell the shock we're in. We'll use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. <laughs> by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family your unknown pattern. <laughs> I like it. Name thoughts you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button or my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first gas. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. <laughs> Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. True, true. Sounds familiar. I, I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared easily. Yeah, but I think we need help, too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him that we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Visibility. Within the adventuring mode menu, you have two additional options. Visibility. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time. And if you'd like to see the inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls like The Sims. Okay, cool. Neato. All it's missing is a picnic basket. That reminds me of uh, Firewatch now. What if I can run? It's probably just a simple button that allows me to run. Alright, so this is Tony. What's up, Tony? Called a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk. <laughs> it's just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? <laughs> Weird question. Weird first question, bro. She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a help. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch. Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering... An elk spoon? No, I think Margaret would love that. <laughs> Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark and timber crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? Hmm, what could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you, of course, know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like something upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? No, oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet and ladder and, oh, a couple stacks of pine. <laughs> Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. Materials. You can interact with materials in the world to loot their contents. Press E again when in the container screen to take everything inside it quickly. You can also split stacks for multiple items. Scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically in expected locations. 
Wood will be found near trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump, and so on. Store any extra materials in the stash near the Pond Voyage car in each area. Each area. I really think I'm gonna love this game. <laughs> oh no. What am I gonna do? I think I love it. I need all of it. Alright, I got all the plywood I might need. So, did you find all the wood? Got it right here. Grand! Perfect! You're doing such a great job! Uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing! Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there! Okay. Here I go. Look at all there is to get. Oh, so many things to collect. I love collecting things. Oh man, and I have to repair that bus stop too. There's gonna be cool things there. Oh no. Yes, all of that is wonderful. Mm. And we're gonna use this old shed. I haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. Yes, I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. Now get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed uh, of all the garbage. I think I can do that. There's got to be. Yeah, this is this is definitely gonna need to be different. Because imagine how easy this would be with literally anything else. Did I do it? Is that a glitch? Clean up the shed. Yup. Yup. Let's see. Great! Now we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together when I tidy up the place. Yeah, that's so much better. Uh, repairable objects. You can repair various objects in the world by gathering the required materials. Whoops! Okay, well this still requires a mouse. Their mother must be worried at this point. No way, she's fine. Uh, workbenches will allow you to craft and build. Repairable objects. Monuments will improve the status of the area and attract more guests. Uh, passages will be cleared and bridges will be uh, repaired to allow access. Oh, I love it. Oh, no. Circle. Interesting, it is really not maximized for controller. Can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. That's yeah, really not. No! Oh well. No, I guess I am using keyboard. Bomber. I did it! Did you get that workbench fixed? Looks like it's brand spanking new! It's good enough. Oh, uh, thanks. Excuse me. Baby's first building. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold foam floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Yeah, this is none of those things, but you do. Pond Voyage has new items available. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe. A bed. Go make one at the workbench. Don't mind if I do. Once repaired, the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. To craft functional furniture, use the workbench to enter the crafting menu. Crafting items, functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted from materials. 
Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms. Once you're done, exit build mode by using the exit button. Learn new blueprints from quests or by buying them and interacting with them to learn the recipes. Buy more blueprints at the Pond Voyage when they become available. Um, do I need to build a room first? Is that a thing that I need to do? Two by three. I hope that's right. Okay. How do I make the bed? I did that. Furniture. Do I have to go buy it? I thought it was now available. Craft. I have to craft it? That's what I have to do. Okay. Craft! Place. <laughs> the greatest. Wait, what? I think I may have gotten ahead of it. Okay, let's uh, let's just craft it. Oopsie doopsie. I'm too good at the game. I'm too great of a gamer for this game. Well, you're able to make that bed. Got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent, you're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Done. Building rooms. Access build mode. Pick a room type from the list. Draw the uh, footprint of the room until you reach the minimum required size. You can add or remove tiles by the plus and minus. Every room requires a door, but a room could have multiple doors. Rooms will require mandatory objects. When in build mode, grab furniture from your inventory to place it. Rotate using R. Confirm building the room by clicking the check mark. Make sure it's not overlapping. Edit or delete in build mode by selecting one or using the room panel buttons. Okay, so I already did this, so are we just done? So, are you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir, stains and all. Brilliant, I almost prefer to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. Having having someone around they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep records for the shock. Ah, yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Front desk recipe crafted at the workbench. After you've made it, just just put down in the shed, and then it's time to rake in the dough. But you got it. Whoopsie. Crafting, crafting. Made it. Whoops. No, none of those. Like. Like there? Is that how I'm supposed to do it? I don't know. Oh, it was literally teaching me. Got it. Did you place the front desk? Yup, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Go talk to Shocky Boy. Tell him he got his joint ready. Do we, though? Is that really all it takes? Nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello. We'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations. Your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. <laughs> These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. 
Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. The front desk can be used to manage your resorts. The resort overview panel will show all the active resorts you've discovered. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, every morning, there's new guests who will request to stay at your resorts. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button to accept a guest quest. Uh, assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demands for better review of the payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you are off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Oh man, I love it. Man, I'd have forgotten about that song entirely. It, it lives in my head rent-free, dude. guest request. I have a precisely one. Yeah! Tomorrow morning. Love it. I mean, now I want to do more things, though. I feel like this game is taking it too slow, and I'm ready. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to run. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Uh-oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Uh, hey, I don't. Prestige. Wow. That means the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make sure your property is more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Let's see, I already have the bed, don't I? Or is that another? Oh, wooden bed versus <gasps> pallet. Wardrobe is very nice. Oh, what do I do? Let's, go, let's start with the wardrobe, I guess. How do I learn? Prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across the resort. The resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. Uh, increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration. Most objects have a decoration score, positive or negative. Okay. How do I install a new recipe? Hmm? How do I install it? I know. Right click. Good to know. Good to know. Can I craft it? Can I make it? I can, but this needs to be bigger. Okay. The room is going to be bigger now. Please and thank you. Oh no, I wanted to expand! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Yes. I want to expand upon this one. How? How? How do I do such a thing? I want to expand it! Oh no! Oh no! Build room. Edit room is what I want. I want to edit the room. That's the way! Yay! We did it! Nice. Okay. Check. Uh, now... Make this. Go here. Ba boom ba boom no! Hang on. I can rotate it with R, I think. That is... <laughs> 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 
Wow, great looking room. Okay, a giant wardrobe that will smash you in your sleep. No biggie. No biggie. Ooh, what's this? Six valuables. Valuables, what are these things? Loggers tools. Hmm. Whatever does that mean? So what else can I make? Nothing, right? I imagine I already have the thing I can make. Maybe if I add another room? Hmm. Very interesting. I can also afford this, but I could also afford the bed. I will go with the, with the footrest. I don't really know what it means. I don't know why I would need a footrest. Oh, this is also a bedroom requirement, huh? Rest your feet on. I mean, that does feel obvious. What? I don't have enough money! No! The classic conundrum. Whatever will I do without enough money? What's in here? Nothing. Nothing is in there. Copper plate, bus sign. What do I do? What am I to do? To A24? The movies? Y'all talking movies? How do I make this? Loggers tools. Hmm. Man, I still got 10 more to do, huh? That's a lot. Eight level of comfort, five level of decoration. And they all have to be put in bedroom, right? <laughs> Except for front desk, because I guess I could just put a, a bazillion front desks everywhere. Maybe somebody will give me something? We'll sit up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. I don't know, I fell asleep halfway through. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Yes, it does, and I always recommend lumbar support for serious injuries. Literally none of you are helping me here. Did I miss something about prestige? Maybe I need to read the... Sum of all decoration scores. Your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decor. Most objects have a decoration score, either positive or negative. Okay. Ooh, what is that? What was that? A wash machine? My goodness, I have so many questions. Ma'am. Ma'am, I need decorations. Ma'am. 
Mummy! Mummy, please! Mother! Mother, give me decorations, please! Logger's tools. What are they? Mother! I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby, I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can help you out, but you have to promise to be more careful next time, okay? Here you go, honey. How much did she give me? 110? What? That's fantastic, but I still feel like there's something I'm missing. I'm gonna look around. Just a Ooh. Thank you. Did I take him? I did. Ha 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 Yes! I am stealing! That's certainly an approach to parenting. I'm useful! I'm giving money! Anything that I can take for myself? Can I put my guitar? Come on! So I'm guessing eventually I'll be able to upgrade my own home. That's my assumption anyway. Okay, well I didn't get a whole bunch, but I did get a little stuff. And now I can build that footrest. Cause I gotta build rest, footrest. Put on the Sunday best. Blues. Y'all blues. Everybody cut. Well, so far I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I love this game. Five out of five. Ten stars. So is she in the room now? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're scared. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I'd sure imagine you're you're a little spooked. Is that forward or? I don't even know what forward and backwards is with that thing. What should the scene do with it? I thought maybe it would it would be set there, but I guess I'm wrong. Come on, give me that level two prestige, dude. No! Seven out of fifteen, that's nothing. Can we talk? Can we talk? Okay, no, I guess we can't. Alright, guess requests. Whoa! So I just got to make more rooms. That's what the that's the crisis we're in. It's time, baby. We're building some rooms today. That's the master suite, obvs. So we're gonna have the rinky dink. That is the not master suite. And I imagine I made money, because I imagine she paid me shortly, right? A five and a two. Can I find somebody with a five and a two? Easy peasy. And Yella! Do I have any reviews yet? No. Okay, so I'll have a new guest tomorrow. Let's build another room. Why wouldn't we? Uh-oh. Because we don't have the monies. Okay. So clearly we're gonna have to make the monies. Yep. 
get you is how the surf suite. <laughs> It's literally a bed and no walls around it. I see that. Why is it hiding back there? Why was it sneaky sneaking? It was. You can't deny it. Do you think my mom would give me more money? I thought maybe I collect, could collect the mushrooms. Hello there, park ranger. Being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down there yet. C cool. Ooh. Yes. Oh my. Ah! I wonder if there's any Firewatch references in here. Nope. Anybody in the chat, would you do that? My introverted self says that I could do it, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. As much as I want to tell myself I could, I don't know if I have. I'm just talking out my hind end. Live out in the forest as a park ranger? Correct. Also, mainly because I know there's not going to be internet out there, right? <laughs> That's the crux. If I could go out there and, and play games all day, then we, we, we could talk. Something tells me the two are not... Uh, Synonymous. Yes, I'm a thief, dude. <laughs> no one told me about the thievery present in this game. Man, this is one of those games that you just lose hours to. Like, how long has it been? It's 2.20. It feels like I've been playing this game for maybe 15 minutes. Okay, I've definitely unlocked enough stuff that I should be able to do some cool things now. I haven't even discovered all the map yet. And that really messes with your head. I've listened to too many horror stories. Like, you've heard horror stories from people that have done it, or you've listened to too many horror stories like horror stories. Okay, so I've got the tools. A computer. Fascinating. Positively fascinating. Yes! We did it! Luxurious facilities for the unassuming. Definitely an attractive proposal for anyone in an emergency. Plus one extra guest request per day in this area. Wow! Ah, uh, bus line. So what other monuments are there to repair here? a question. Ooh, hello. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's good, my friend? <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to be here. What's up, yo? Talk. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I love it so much! It's Tuck! Oh my goodness, I wonder how many bells I owe him, dude. 
Oh, yeah, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where'd you come from? <laughs> All right, enough with the questions. What do you have to... That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that'll make them feel more <laughs> distinguished. <laughs> Slop, scrap, rubble. No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator who craft this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great. Let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Oh, no way, don't spend a lot of time down there. But... You gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the street. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, and then we can talk. Neat. Is this another area that I can procure? Horror stories that are too close to reality, got you. Oh, there goes gravity. Was this the bus station he was talking about? Do I have to unlock that bus station and then he'll... Oh, no, there it is. I just took someone's lunch. <laughs> Oh, no. So, did you find any grub? Yep, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. <laughs> Just like Mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. Right here, I'll even let you have this one for free, but anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. That is so funny. I mean real valuables. Took's Dumpster is a one-stop shop for decorative objects. Always been superstitious. Took accepts valuables as currency. The world is littered with them, literally. Guests also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative objects from Took. Oh my goodness, this is so many things. I love the welcome mat. I have 92. Wow, I have a lot. Okay, cool. I love the bear painting. Uh, rug would be nice. Ooh, light would be nice in both rooms. A vase would be nice. Flower pot would be nice. Um, I don't really like the mirror. <laughs> um, we only have room for a nightstand in one of the rooms anyway. I'm gonna switch headphones. Okay, let's start with there. Let's start with there. Oh, he's got another request for me, too. So, how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal? No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. Yeah, and it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we all walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off, and probably make a few folks in the process. Listen, I got plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich-looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. No, oh, I'm just getting the hang of it. That sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The people will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of new goods we'll have in the shop? I love it. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is your boy's kind of game, dude. Um, I'm going to try to get that. I'm going to try to get that level up, though. Let us get on a welcome mat, of course. She gets the welcome mat. She also gets bear painting. Or no, this one gets the bear painting? <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, 
The rug is definitely going to go here by the bedside. That way she doesn't get dirty feet. Interesting that it can't sit on there. Uh, so it's got a little thing if it's a if it's a surface. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, so I need to go buy some more of those. Uh, yeah, I did it. Prestige level two. Yeah, we did it. Congratulations! Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Congratulations, it seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pond Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Complete the story for at least plus one more guest in Timber Crossing. I don't know what that means. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't believe you will. I don't believe you will. I think, I think his weird statement about mom earlier and then that slip up. Dad, are you my daddy? Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, hello. Uh, look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well. Oh, marvelous! The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things human built here. Uh, so like the pyramids. No, we'll actually find it more of a rectangular parallel <laughs> biped. A rectangular what? So I, I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right, I still want to know how you came up with that. No, it's a brilliant idea as usual, my son, student. Student, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I love the- I love him so much. I take it back, you don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, and then we'll get to building. Oh, I already did it. So, all clean? Yep, almost sparkling. Wonderful! Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things that humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. Uh, I need a bit of human literature. Mm, I got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in Stardust. Stardust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put everything else. Uh, uh, I'll put together everything else in the meantime. I only have one more thing to get. All I need now is the pin on the string. All I need now is the pin on the string. Ooh, there's so much over here. Can't open this yet. We're just stealing everything from poor Oliver. Poor guy. <clears throat> Were you able to find everything? Took a while, but here you go. Oh, yes, yes, this is everything I need. Yeah, it won't take long. It really did not take him long. Just like new. Inaugurate the kiosk. Very interesting. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Lageria. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. 
That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and uh, I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, thanks, Tony. Now I'll be back at my meal if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Weird. Tux garbage, new items. Wow, a lot of new items. Holy moly. Oh, I love this. I love it! Oh my goodness, where do we even begin? A jukebox? That's so many valuables, though. A shelf. A book cabinet? I love that! Wait, what a level two mean? I definitely need more shelf things. Nightstands. I'm working my way up on that jukebox. But I thought I had another guest come. Arrives tomorrow. Okay. Fascinating. Positively fascinating. Whoopsie. Okay, well, I need a nightstand. Hello, what's up, Perry? I think you're gonna be all about this game, my dude. I'm getting the feeling this is gonna be your style of game as well, because this is all my alley. Oh, I can't I put that there. Cozy bear game. Very cozy, very bear. I can't figure out how to get that set down, which is interesting. Why will it go up there? Maybe it takes up two squares? Perhaps. Mayhaps. Oh, it's a wall lamp. This entire time I was so confused. I was like, am I, am I, am I silly? I don't like that placement at all. But it's there now. Yup, yup, yup. I love this. I'm loving every minute of this. How much money do I have? 20. That's not a lot of money. There's always a chance my mom will give me more money. Mm, that's 50. That's too much. I don't know how much money this person's about to give us either. It's kind of up in the air. The writing is hilarious on this game so far. I got a new guest. All right. Welcome home. Welcome to the welcome to the bear and breakfast. Welcome in. You're fine. You're fine. No need to be scared. I'm nice. I'm really very kind. Did I get paid? Did I get money though? Total cost per day is zero. What does that mean, you think? <laughs> Do I have to get reviews first or something? I feel like I've definitely made over here with a free to stay B and B. Yeah, what's up with that? How do I charge? I wonder how to get reviews. Maybe I can't, I can't charge until I have reviews.
I do find it interesting that we got this kiosk, but there's nothing I can do here. Am I working the kiosk? Oh, enjoy your stay. Welcome to the bear and breakfast. I'm bear. I'm also breakfast. That's some more valuables. I haven't checked out this person's. Oh, look, he's got a request. Oliver. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. Uh, bear noises. <laughs> What a kind-looking bud you are! I'm Oliver, I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. <laughs> Look at me! Of course it's not evident! Bears don't take the bus! Do you? Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken-down tractor before, what does that count? My old bear noises. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what, do you think you could do me a solid bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I just can't leave my buses. There's not been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. You think you could find your way to Stardust and give this to Beanie for me? She usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Yeah. You want me to go give your love letter to the, to the attendant? What you gotta do? Of course I'll do that. Can't imagine anything that made me happier. Though I am really curious about all the things on the ground. I'll make sure I'm not missing any things. Because I need valuables. How was your weekend, Perry? Welcome in. Happy that you're here. Is it a valuable? Nope. That's a bear poster. Full of yard work, but good. Mine was also good. We had we had one easy day, sandwiched by a day at the zoo, which was exciting but eventful, and then another day that was um, spent traveling down to my dad's, getting to see him. Always good times. All right, Beanie, I have a love letter for you. Oh, there you are. Sabine. Got it, Beanie. Love it. I don't remember her voice. Hello! I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. <laughs> Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh, yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. <laughs> that was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Hey, thanks for the lurk. What's up, wit? Appreciate you. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yoking you. What's a big softie like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel, though I understand the resemblance. No, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver's license, and he had a much taller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but you could get this thing back to him. I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. A compass. You've unlocked the compass, which unlocks the area map view. The area map can be accessed through the map button next to the mini map. The area map shows all the important markers and landmarks in the vicinity. Yeah. Love it. Yes, yes. More things. I love unlocking things and stuff. Things and stuff are my favorites. 
Already bad. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? She called you a weasel. Barely legible bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud or bear. Sorry, so what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud, she found the rest of it. That's incredible, Bud. Oh, drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Sort of driving a bus. Sort of driving us, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust in High Lake, and this is where we are. Um, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places the buses couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses, but it just doesn't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know. No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all of the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where those old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't even think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Nice. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Atlas. Wow. I love it. Look at all this area to explore. Yay! A new bus station. I could fast travel. Love it. Now, when do I start making monies? leaves tomorrow. They both leave tomorrow. Okay, so maybe I'll make some monies tomorrow. Maybe. Keyword maybe. Oh, I see. I like how only the guests are afraid of me. Everybody else is cool with me, but the guests are afraid. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yeah, I did. Approving bear noises. That's great news, bud. Oh, I love the CG. <laughs> Why does this look a little bit like Shin? It's a little bit like shenanigans style, isn't it? Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, any time you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Oliver's toolbox. And boom, I'll drive you there any time. <laughs> Hank, Hank, where are you? I'm right here. Where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber and then we made a bed for humans and- And where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank. Yeah? Uh, Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we gotta get home. Now this whole thing started. There you go, Pineapple Puff. You were officially right. Love it. And the good news is that I make money tomorrow. The bad news is that my mom is probably not happy with me. I want to know what else is available in his little shop, though. A <gasps> hundred coin. Wow. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm figuring it all out. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a good game. Probably going to install this on the Steam Deck the minute I get home. That seems pretty likely. Oh, I don't have the bus stop, though, do I? Maybe I can build one. Maybe my home has a bus stop. <laughs> 
now I get to go tell my mom. Hey, kids! Hank, where have you been, my goodness gracious? Are you all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you! I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days! <laughs> <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more to visit. They'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and, uh, and I get to make stuff for them. And I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. It just feels nice to do something out there for a change, something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least, you're all probably exhausted. You should get some rest. Yeah, we got to check on our humans. <gasps> I got the hat! And, all right, dear, at least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now get some rest. Who? No, don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. Is that Indiana Jones or is it an old man? I don't know. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax, it's a good thing. It is. The oversized rat did say the, sky, the size doesn't scale, whatever. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. The big cheese! <laughs> yes, you nailed it! That's, that's, I'm going to give him the Dawn voice then. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> You nailed it, Pineapple! Ah! I love it so much. Or, um, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it. But it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. Yay! That was weird. <laughs> yeah, the meme face is great. That's also your autosave face. Oh my goodness, this game! Oh, what's up, Annie? Oh, you're nothing. Nothing, Amy. Okay. There's Will. Oh my goodness. There's so much to do. Can't wait to see what the dump looks like. One thing I have noticed, however, is a lack of music. There's bird song, but there's no music, and that surprises me. There's like a little, a little slight, like... Oh, that's it. Occasionally, I'll get a little something, but not much. Oh, I guess I could have fast traveled back here. You could be a nice table. Oh, who's there? Um, why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. Uh -huh. That's all right. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a Joppa Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? What's a blue shag? Bear noises? Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. <laughs> she, she turned into a southern belle. She was old lady voice, but now she's changed. Well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore, although lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? Built it with my own two paws. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone Taurus. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Thank you, Barbara. Thanks, Babs. Appreciate the affirmation there, Barb. Alright, did I make any money? They're not gone yet. At least tomorrow, or at least today. Today is a new day. I guess not yet. Anything new is available here. It isn't.
Maybe I can go sell things at the dump. The big cheese. I can't believe that. <laughs> I love his walk cycle so much. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> Not there either. He just skipped town again or is lying in a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole, but he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh oh, 10 o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. A hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I think I told- I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up here, ain't it? Sure is. I, I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kinda need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? <laughs> what place? This place! Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost weight at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenger hunts. Runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around. There was no weight. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me in my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here, if you get us weighed back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay. Can I scrap this? I mean, what's to stop me from going in that entrance? <laughs> right? Right? Am I crazy? I'm still getting plenty of parts. That's how it looks to me, anyway. All right, I actually want to. I want to go. I want to keep upgrading my shed. Come on. I want to see how much money I made too. I wonder if I have to collect it or if it's just here. <gasps> what? $540? Whoa! I'm a legend, dude. Holy moly. Well, hang on. I got to get new, new customers. I'm an absolute wizard, yo. <gasps> the motel. Oh, she leaves to soon. Zero days, whatever that means. All right, five and seven. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Looks like Georgina's there. All yours, Georgina. Staff. I can hire staff. That's what the cost is. Always make sure your property is up to Pond Voyage's uncompromising standards. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. <laughs> but enough talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and press the green button. Yay! I did it! Obviously, I'm buying this first. 
Uh, management quests. Finn leaves behind construction placards in every area. These placards have optional building and management quests for each resort. Each will, each will reward you with extra money or special collectibles. Upon completion, new guests will demand better accommodations, but also pay more for their stay. It feels like I'm already making Buco Dolores. Welcome to the Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location, also increasing payouts and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another two plus timbers or two plus guests in timber crossing. Reward a cool new pair of pants. How do I put my hat on? Yeah, obviously it's the job. Task in progress, please return once the job is complete. How do I get my hat on? I wanna wear a hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> I love him so much, dude. Look at my little hat. <laughs> ah, look at my little hat! Oh, this is the best game ever made. There has never been a game this good. All right, I can build another room and I'm going to. Whoops, wasn't exactly what I meant to do. Looks like I actually build two more rooms. Whoops. Is there a reason why it's gray? Oh, because it doesn't have a bed yet. Okay. Well, that is something I can do. Gotta move that thing, huh? Nice! Build a new room, comfort, bedroom. Love it, dude! Look at all my rooms! Money, 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 money. Except, of course, they are the bare minimum. Five, six, five, four. Very bare minimum, but... I've got one guest that can stay there right now. Now I gotta figure out how to up the ante on this room, huh? So this bedroom was 5'4". If I can just get the decor up a little bit, then I have two guests that can stay there. Wall lamps keep working, I think. Let's do another wall lamp. How much was it worth? One. How much do I need? Four? I think I needed four. That's seven. One more. Let's do a landscape painting. Love it. All right, let's make it happen. Nope, inventory. I gotta place the wall lamp in this room. I gotta place some art. I gotta place a little nightstand. That should be enough. Whoopsie. Five eight. Very nice. Uh, perfect. Ellie, enjoy your room. Okay, now I can go do the other things that it wants me to do. So first, we gotta go to Black Moss. Because the two plus guest thing should just happen. Naturally. Oh, I probably gotta go from the bottom, huh? Yep. Go. Started from the bottom. Now we're here.
Well, smells like my neighbors are taking their smoke break right now. Delightful. I guess they, they tolerate me screaming at my computer for three hours a couple days a week, so... I guess I'll let them have their smoke breaks. And I'll just tolerate the stench. And it do be a stench, though. Oh, no. <laughs> What's up, alligator witch? How we doing? Uh, hello? Oh, not this again, I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe. Bad mushrooms heard a noise coming from the trees. Oh, no, I was just looking because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh, gosh, no, it's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately, come inside. Inside? No, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Has Wade just been chilling here? Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly, and then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Oh, that's the voice for sure. Wow, and what was it like, the thing? Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? No, only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Wow. It stank, too, real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa! Twig, what I'd say about liaisoning with the... Uh, liaising with the criminal. Criminal? Where? Yes, a man. Sorry, man. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade! Are you Wade? Hello, uh, I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is a festering, noisy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of them. Shush, child. Who wants to know? Who, who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A. Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he'd let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. There's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find him anywhere, or anywhere else other than black moss. Maybe the bird brain in A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Yep, switches wholesale. Bring me back a few, and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Okay. How many do I need? Seven? That's so many. Yes. Yes. Very nice. There's no sparkle. Oh, I've already got plenty. Ooh, and that washing machine's up here. Washing. Yes. Absolutely repair. Yeah!
Duck makes things. Raider of the party of three. Thank you, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad you're all here. Welcome in. Duck, how was stream? What were you playing, my friend? Or were you playing some music? Were you just chatting? What was going on? What was the dealio? Ducky Raid, what's up? Mr. Phantom Hayden, thank you for the follow. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Welcome in. Howdy, howdy. Well, welcome to Checkpoint Church, church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. We stream almost every day of the week. Oh, perfect. If you're playing, you were playing Stardew. We just unboxed the Stardew Valley before the comic, or before the farmer comic from Fan Gamer. It's very neat. I'm very excited about it. And we're playing a game that is very Stardew-esque called Bear and Breakfast right now. So you're here at the perfect time. Um, but yes, we are Checkpoint Church. Church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. Here streaming most days of the week. We have our church community over on our Discord. Exclamation point Discord in the chat. That's where all the best stuff happens. And then uh, every Sunday we post a nerdy sermon over on our YouTube video series. Uh, we didn't actually get to post one this last week because the video rendering had some errors, unfortunately. But every Monday we do not have tacos at MPN's house. Indeed not. Go for ass, fella. A dozen lilies. It's actually seven lilies. One, uh, two, uh, yeah, that looks right. Good. This better be worth your dime. Because next time you're taking him back in a jar and paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't be bent uh, through the lilies like she used to. Shots, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Fine, but on Tuesdays we have enchiladas at Reverend Taco's house. Now that one I can't claim. That one's, that one's up to Reverend Taco. Who, by their mere presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big cauldron. But that's the hope, at least. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks! There he goes. Back to Anton. Back to the big cheese. Saving Private Wade. Hilarious. But yep, 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 yep. Thank you for the raid. Hope that y'all had a great stream. Hope that everything was going good. We're glad you're here. Feel free to hang out as long as you would like. Chat has made me do voice acting while playing Stardew. You gotta! You gotta. I voice act through all the games, man. It's the best part. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to voice act? All right. And you are not stepping one foot outside of this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. These two kittens I got, they wouldn't want to. No, I guess not. The first roll of Garb... Garb... <laughs> Garb Archaeology. Garb Archaeology is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. Claire's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the stuff is whatever, Miss Scarlet. Anton the boss seems like a really stubborn fella, but I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in limited capacity and only under strict supervision, at least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. We keep asking them their name, they say meow. Rude. Rude. You would think they would respond by now. Yes, ma'am. I always say I've had enough of them. But then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out on wild goose chases? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. And we always keep our word. The dump! Yay! Look at all these things! They're all mine! They're mine, all mine! Ha 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 ha! There's gotta be a better button. Can I change it to right click? Let's find out. I think interact... Yes. Is so much better. And I could do something with, with le right click too, but I don't know what I would need. Open up my inventory? That'd be kind of nice. Marie? Wait, what is that? Locked at start. Let me find the Marie. 
I'm a big fan of this game so far. I think it's a real fun. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a fun game so far. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's silly, but it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's a real good game. Uh, yeah, like I said, big fan. Uh, ooh, I could totally make that also be left click. That's so nice. Yes. All right, we got to find something for right click to be. What should right click be? I think inventory might not be a bad option. I love it. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Except now, of course, I don't have my... Um, <laughs> I, of course, don't have my, uh, my my left hand anymore. I need five minutes. Okay, Google, set a four-minute timer. It's already been at least a minute. We've got so many things to get. we got so many things. I'm so curious about this game. What else I have to do? This seems like a fun game. They need to make it a game that is uh, 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 like a Mario game where you build things for Mario. Well, they did have Mario Maker, um, but they don't have they don't have any like a, they don't have like a Mario Sim like this, you know. It would be a good idea. You should pitch that to the Marine. Well, what do you think I have to do with the Mario game? I'm not the Mario. No, you're not Mario, so I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, you have nothing to do with Mario. Marie, what is your opinion on the corn song from TikTok? I like corn. Have you tried it with the juice, though? The juice. When I tried it, everything changed. He doesn't even like the song that much. It's true, I really don't. It's fine. I've been over this. I think it's Shmoyo Ho's, it's a, it's a average Shmoyo Ho hit. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab, up a grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Yes, you've said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains, the desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish shoot around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads, this is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Make no mis mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Check the sign next to the motel to start repairing it. I love it! I get a new place! Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the Roadside Motel. Would you like to repair it? I would. Yup. Step one, clear out debris. Okay. Easy peasy. It'd be so much easier with both hands. Yeah, having this on left click is so much better. Although you wouldn't know it, because I'm having to use both hands for this. He's all good. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with the corn song. I think it's fun. Uh, I did see Kevin Bacon cover it the other day, and that was very exciting. That has never happened with a Shmoyo Ho song before, that's for sure. Shmoyo Ho, accent on the O. You did it! Good job! Tony's Construction Service. Is the structure clear? Yep. Good job! This is not a step, but I thought I'd let you know you did a good job. <laughs> Marie, can you let Nair Pastor Nate know I'll be sending him the candle to him soon? Yes, he knows! He saw your message on the Discord! He told me! He told me he saw the message! Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. Let's see if we have enough. We do not. We need more stone. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his own. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for having me. Bye, Marie. Thanks for being here, my friend. Okay. 
Now things are about to get so much better Cause I've got the right click turned on And that is exciting I like how I just take everything from everybody I think it's my job at this point Ooh, I need more copper plates. Is that a possum? What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's good, possum, sir? How's it hanging, Mr. Possum? Did it? Yeah! Did I do it? The greatest! Astound astounding, you're on your way to becoming the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in the possibly yet not probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over. I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. Book a guest to the motel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. Can do. Okay. Master bedroom always is first. Always gonna start with the master. Make a bed. We put the bed. This time I'm gonna rotate it, how about that? I'll book a guest. Also, I gotta have a front, a front desk, too. Five, four, five? Well, I don't have that yet. Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? I got a ghost on the way. Astounding, they are in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting who. That's right, water. is mutual exploitation a thing. Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? You sure use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct, you must now build bathrooms for your guests. Awesome! 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 Lucky guess! Bathrooms introduce a new type of score, hygiene. Bathrooms have an area of effect around them that applies that hygiene score to nearby bedrooms. You can see the area of effect of a bathroom by building, going into build mode and selecting the room. Higher level bathrooms have a larger area of effect for their hygiene score. Increase the level of bathrooms by placing higher level bathroom objects. Different guests have different hygiene requirements, so try to match them when accepting requests. Yeah. Did that building get bigger? It totally did, right? That building got bigger. Okay. We need to build a room. We need to build a bathroom. Three by three is the requirement. And it needs a turlet. And a sink and a shower. Ooh. I can't make it. I don't have any plastic. I can make the shower. I can make the sink. I cannot make the turlet. Dear. Well, I 
better figure it out, because I got a guest coming. Gotta find some plastic. And fast. Sorry, right, AFK, Noelle just got home from her meet and greet at pre-K and I wanted to see how it went. No, absolutely, please do not apologize. Oh my goodness. How did it go? This school gonna be great. Nora was always super nervous on first day of things, but then she warms up within like five minutes. I don't know if I got any plastic. Did not. Huh. I haven't seen any plastic. This entire time I've been here. In the middle of the desert in a rundown metal shack lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. She's very excited, but also very tired out, needs a nap so badly, I feel that. In the... Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Uh, although by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. Hi. Oh, hello. <clears throat> I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, I want him to be like debonair. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there, but I've only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Uh, thank you. That's with all the people. Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good, they got the best food and bottles. And they scare easily. A jerk stream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, they used to roam all over the place. Reminded me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow, only stopping for the occasional turd. Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stick up the place. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't burn the joint down again. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel, too. I love my little wheel! The worst part is, sandwich turned out to be a big stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not actually playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling. Lad, you've got a nice thick skin on you. That or your thick as gravy. <laughs> Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin, too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right, so making some extra beans on the side. Getting a kick out of scaring the little mustaches off. Well, I think they're pretty neat and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Ha! <laughs> what are you going to use it for, buying food? <laughs> How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it this way, just me, my diddly little self and I. I get it, you seem pretty cool to hang out with. There, right enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. Give Gus the possum a compliment. <laughs> okay. Are you done with your nonsense? Uh, actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I've ever met. No, Gus! What is this game and how did you find it? It looks cray. Chovy, this is Baron Breakfast. I feel like I saw it last year at... Like a Gamescom-esque thing. I don't think it was actually Gamescom, but it was it was at some kind of event like that. Hey, Granny. It's very silly so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Whoa! More Took's garbage! That's awesome. I didn't know he had a Took's garbage up here. Still gotta find rubber, though. I'm really not sure where that is. Maybe I ought to go check the dump. Because I got guests coming very soon. And I'm worried if I don't find anything, I'm going to get in trouble. I don't want to get a bad review. I can't emotionally handle a bad review, you guys. 
There was a trailer for it at something we watched. Yeah, I definitely remember it. And it actually just came to the Switch. That's what reminded me of it. So I had kind of forgotten it was a thing. And then I saw that it came to the Switch and I was like, oh, I wanted to play this whenever it came out. And uh, so I went and got it. And the reason we're playing it today is because it's Variety Tuesday. And uh, I gave people the option to always vote on whatever game we play on Variety Tuesday. And they chose to play a new game. And so now something that I'm doing is I am, what is it, what keeps saying left mouth button? Okay. Um, is I'm giving two options that we've played before, one totally new game, and then a fourth that is like a make your suggestion and we'll play it. And people chose uh, by a landslide to start a new game. So this is the new game we're starting. And there we go. Long story, not so short. Long story told precisely as long as it needed to take. I don't feel like I found any plastic yet. Trouble with a capital T and that rhymes in, Oh. Trouble! With a capital T that rhymes with P and that stands for possible. Definitely not pool, don't be absurd. I'm certainly finding a lot of stuff, but I don't know if I'm finding anything that I actually need for this next requirement. Oh, plastic board. That might have been what I needed. I know you're a man who enjoys musical. A music man, you might say. Now, that is one that I've never been in. But I do enjoy it. I've only ever seen the Matthew Broderick one. I don't know if there are more. But that's the one I've seen. La Gasp. I've not been in a lot of musicals, though. Ooh, I want to get in there. How do I get in there? Well, no, I wasn't there. The first show you ran tech on. How about that? Pikachu cat. All right, so what can I buy from this fella? Yep, switch. Music like you better know how to put one front of the other. Now I'm front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with a wild? Do you play with a bizarre? Back in the uncharted? Might be known to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If we think these lands are young, you are greener than the crude sapling. There's nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What are you talking about? Yeah, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets. Did you just call me a something? I hope for your sake that they are not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I, uh, might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. I was supposed to shadow the soundboard operator, and he bailed on, like, every rehearsal, so I just taught myself. Nice! Yeah. Luckily, luckily, that's a thing that's somewhat intuitive. <laughs> it would help to be taught, but you can figure it out throughout the course of an entire semester of learning a show. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst ever lad. The shouting, the anchor, the pain, as if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bat on around here. Something that old line over the sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Go cool. on. Cool. Wood. Why would I need fuel? Now, I think I need that plastic board. I'm not using it. I'm pretty sure I need it. Let me go finish this bathroom. This game is charming. Absolutely, positively charming. I'm all about it. So far, I cannot imagine this game being much better than it is. Pacing is good. Gameplay is good. Yep, plastic board. Point.
interesting, it's engaging, well-paced. Good game. Now, I don't know if it's on Game Pass, but if it is, there is no excuse not to play this game if you like games like this. It's like mooching off your own future. All right, there's bathrooms now. Amazing. Now that your guests need for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind real renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking time off? Rig oppression. <laughs> what did it say? That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors? Yourself. That's a little dark. Which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. That's worse. But not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated uh, establishment. A distillery. Beer, huh? How refined. Special rooms. Special rooms provide extra attraction for your resort. They offer special amenities and entertainment to your guests. Special rooms. Some guests have demands for specific special rooms, but all guests appreciate them in general. They can give a big boost for your uh, resort prestige score. The distillery is a type of special room that can be built in certain areas. It's great for those who are looking to unwind alongside some hearty spirits. It requires a bar, seating, and a dispenser to be functional. Some guests specifically look for a distillery uh, for their accommodations. And it's that guy. We'll name him Todrick. Arrives tomorrow. It is not on Game Pass, at least not PC Game Packs, but it is $20 on Steam. Yeah, it wasn't too expensive. And it is on Switch also, so if you're a, if you're a, a fellow that likes the Switch. How big does that have to be? Four by five? That's big. Okay, so I need... Oh, it's $400? Holy moly. Well, I'm not gonna be able to afford that yet. I gotta go make some money. Money, 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 money. The diner? Would you like to repair it? Yeah. Clear out debris. Already done that. Yep. Gather construction materials. Copper plates, porcelain chunks, and glass panels. Got any uh, porcelain? Easy to peasy. Two guests have completed their stays. 312 gained. Is that enough? Tis. However, I do think I might be in need of setting up some new guests to stay. Don't be spooked. I promise I'm very kind. Oh, I guess I could have done that from any kiosk. Nice. 5756. Let's do it. I got reviews! Look at these people! They love it! Ah. Oh. Yes! Yes! They love their stay! Oh my goodness! Oh, hang on, I already forgot. 5756. Five, okay, that one works, that one works. Five, eight. I just went full squinty eye on that emote and still don't know what it is, lol, I give up. Yeah, flying money. Money, money! Goodbye, money! Oh, my beautiful money! Oh, I did the thing! The job complete? Yep. You have been once again proving yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. I got pants! I got pants! They all live. So you own a B&B &B and a motel so far, yep. Further improvements available. You may now successfully complete the following. Uh, raise the prestige level three. Yes. I've done it already. <laughs> the greatest gamer. 
three five-star reviews. It's already been done. It's already been done, baby. It's already been done. Hasn't it? Man, it's definitely been done. It's been done. Entrepreneur. One, two, three. I have one, two, three, four reviews. Do I have to get four reviews after the time that I accept the request? Is that what it is? Mean. That ain't my dad. I gotta go build that distillery, so I probably better do that now. I also need some porcelain chunks. Lame. <laughs> Distillery first, porcelain next. Now I gotta build the things. Um, so it needed a sturdy wooden bar, a stool, and a tap. I do feel like two bar stools are probably gonna be. Oh, come on, what? Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make some more. I gotta make some more stools, come on. Nobody wants to have a bevy alone. Uh, I also need to put my pants on. Ooh, I forgot I had that. I need to put the uh, jukebox in there too. Heck yes! Now that's what I call a distillery. Oh, and I got that. No, I didn't get the jewel because I didn't do it yet. Participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise programs agree to waive any claims for participants' personal injury of wrongful death. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment as the premier watering hole in this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. What's up, trombone? How we doing? As we near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. Pond Voyage has new items available. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. Good to stay for three plus guests. But you got it. Ooh, I got a nicer bed. I got a small vanity. Oh, look at all these things that I can buy. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Heading home from day one of the official job at the school is grades five through eight interventionist. Congratulations. You did it. You survived the first day. T-Bone, you are officially the coolest person around. Love it. How was it? Now that we've established that you're the coolest, how was it? Did you have fun? It was good not going in as blind as before. There you go. Find any bright side and all bright sides.
There has to be some reason for this forever long pavement, right? Man, this place is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. Nope. No point behind it. Weird name for a road, honestly. Yeah, I wonder what the name is about. Still have some art to grade and input in the grade book. You'll get it done. I need un more. Uno mas. Prospector's gear. I wonder where I get that. So curious, this game. I feel like I should be able to break down that bike. I'm pretty sure that's not what an upscale dining establishment is supposed to look like. Get back out there. Oh, that's what I'm doing? I didn't understand that I was doing that for him. I'm gonna get a lot more porcelain. Ah, she's enjoying a nice little stay at the tap. Enjoy. She literally threw her thing immediately on the trash. On the ground. Her trash immediately on the ground. Don't you love humanity? I wonder what's the subverted argument this game could be making. Uh, okay, anything else will be voice typing. You're all good, Trombone. I was actually very terrified for you today because I was having trouble. So OBS updated. Literally, um, this weekend. Literally this weekend, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it work. And the captions in particular are the one thing that I thought was not going to work. But they did, I think. They should be working. If they're not working down there, let me know. They ought to be working for you. If they aren't working for you, then something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I've heard horror stories about the OBS update recently. It wasn't really that bad. Most stuff was pretty easy to update. What frustrates me is that I literally just did all of my plugin work. <laughs> I literally just did it and then did this and then they did this big update, which is on me. As good as they always are, but they are there. Yeah. I can imagine. I need some porcelain chunks. Is the thing. What you got? No, you still got this for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to spook you, lady. Oh. I assume that I'm eventually going to start getting some bad reviews. Wait, I'm confused. I thought you said that you were worried about me and I don't know how that connects to OBS and I might have missed, heard something, but I'm not sure. Normally you have to listen to our streams, uh, or normally you have to read our streams on closed captioning because you're doing something else. Or because you're in 17 streams at once. And so I was worried that you were going to be inconvenienced because the closed captionings weren't working for you. And I know that you are, you are at least the only person that I know of that uses them regularly.
I can't wait until I get to hire staff because presumably that's going to happen eventually. Oh yes, I love captions. I get frustrated with how many streams do not have captions. I think it's so that Twitch does not have that as a default because it's an accessibility feature. I got off my soapbox now. I do wonder. I thought I thought that might be something that OBS would do with this next update. Was make a really super accessible captions. Because I think it's more on OBS's side than it is on Twitch's side. Twitch just receives information. They don't create the information. As I understand it. Interesting. I don't have any of those, but I can get some for a hundred dollars. That would be nice to have. What's up? Why can't I, um... What's up? Mikey has fun. What's up, Mikey? Thank you for the follow, my friend. We're just getting to the end of stream, but I'm glad that you're here. Welcome in. This is Checkpoint Church, Church for Nerds, Geeks, and Gamers. We're playing Bear and Breakfast here. Our Variety Tuesday stream goes from 1 to 4 on Tuesdays. We also have Mondays from 1 to 4. Tomorrow we're going to be streaming first thing in the morning because uh, normally what we do with our Wednesday streams is we talk about the sermon from the prior Sunday, but this past Sunday we actually had a rendering issue and so we don't have a sermon. So I think I'm going to do a little bonus stream. I think we're going to play a little, a little game from the bonus backlogs and um, that'll be fun. Then Thursday we stream from 9 until noon, probably playing, probably finishing Islets, I assume. I'm going to try to finish Islets anyway. Uh, was there anything else? What else do I tell people? We are a real church here on Twitch. A real church plant here. Most of the good stuff happens over on our Discord. Exclamation point Discord in the chat if you want to know more about that. So we're hanging out 24-7. Community vibes all over there. Um, then we also, as I've already mentioned, have our YouTube uh, sermons every single Sunday. Except for whenever the rendering issues happen. The rendering. But yeah, we're just playing some beer and breakfast. But thanks for giving us the follow. How'd you find us? If you're there, if you're in the chat. <laughs> Rendering though, for reals. For reals. Recently, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if I'm using a different SD card than normal, but uh, I record all our raw files and I send them over to our editor. And, uh, recently it's been recording them in chunks rather than in one full video file. And so that's what's causing issues. Chunking. The chunking! Nobody likes the chunking! Oh look, all this stuff respawned. I love that. Oh, we love a respawn. Wonder if they respawn every day? If they respawn every day, that's a dream. Because even Stardew takes a couple days, you know? I guess depending on what you want. What the I'm got to do? Have I been down there? Yeah, I have. 
Where am I gonna find porcelain chunks, dude? Have I gotten have I gotten any porcelain chunks? Maybe they're just super hard to find. Five. Wait. What is that value? Can I sell them? Since when? To whom? Whomst? Whomst will buy my things? Whomst have bought my things? Will the pawn place buy them? I need something easy to sell. I'll probably never use this possum clock. I'm scared. It's worth so many things. It's worth so many beans. Is there a way to sell just one wood? How do I pick up precisely one wood? <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing fine without selling things. Barbara did anything interesting to tell me. It does feel like the game has almost given me a natural stopping point, doesn't it? A nice little pause point here for the end of stream. Like it knew that I was just wrapping up streaming. That means I got paid. So that's what that sound is. Nice to know. Nice to know. So now I can build more rooms here if I wanted to. And I think I do. Build another bed. A delight bed, yes. Yes! Oh, wow. The nicest bed anyone's ever slept in, dude. Wow, dude. Wow. Yo. Now we're cooking with grease. Ten, six, nine, homie. Oh my goodness. I can take on the world. Ellie, Ellie, baby. What else have we got? Five, four, nine. Oh, well that, but she's leaving tomorrow. So she has another day. So I don't have a room I can rent out there yet. Unless that was in my other home. I don't understand. Oh, I guess she gets there tomorrow, so I can backlog people. Very nice. Five, four, nine. Well, that, that'll do for you. Interesting, dude. Yeah, I love this game. I love this game. I don't know how to save in this game, and that's going to be a bit of an issue. I guess we're just going to try to quit to menu. Progress will be saved. Beautiful. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for being here for this game. I have so enjoyed my time with Baron Breakfast. This is going to be a must play for me. Um, I'm definitely going to be, I'm definitely going to be playing this one for a while. Uh, I love Stardew Styles. I love Sim games. This is good. This is good. It's got good uh, cheekiness to it. Good jokes, good bits. Good stuff going on. Although the start of stream today was a little scary. We, we pulled it off. We managed. We made it to the end. If you want to know why it was scary, I guess you'll just have to go back and watch the pod, baby. All right. We got to raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Who are we going to raid? Let's find out. We're going to raid. Well, I guess first I'll ask our resident raider. Trombone, do you have anybody? Who should we raid? Do you have anybody on your on your list that we've not raided before? I'm finding more and more that we raid the exact same people because uh, we're on at the same time, right? Who do you have to raid, my friend? And then we'll wrap things up here. I hope you all have had a good time here on this stream. Again, if you want more of Checkpoint Church, we are active every single day of the week over on our Discord. Um, we are also active every Sunday. 
driving, so I can't get a suggestion. I usually try and find one for driving, but I forgot today. I'll let y'all down. You did not let us down. Um, we will raid, uh, let's see. Um, well, we raided Deustin last week. He's going through scripture right now, too. Bonsai Baby? Do you know Bonsai Baby, Trombone? Is that one of your recommendations? Why do I know Bonsai Baby? Check Games is also live right now. God Squad is live right now. We've not done God Squad in a long time. Oh yeah, she's awesome. She has great vibes. Well, she's playing Ooblets, and Ooblets is a Ooblets is a Stardew esque like game. So we're gonna we're gonna raid Bonsai Baby, folks. I believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate the church. None of those things change. These three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, until the next time that I see you, go spam some You Matters in the chat over on Bonsai Baby, who is playing Ooblets, which is a great sim-like game, very similar to the one we were just playing. So uh, until tomorrow, 9 o'clock in the morning, we'll play some kind of bonus stream. Um, I'll see you then, or I'll see you right now over on the Discord. Bye-bye!